What's good with it in the hood with it? Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding! Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directing the direction of the dope content that I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled and I'm very much so appreciative. So thank you. I appreciate it, man. I know I couldn't do it without you. Um, is I... Wiz I, should I save her? Fuck Sheila, I don't care if she wants to be saved. That's on my cousin Rick, right? Welcome back to Super Norteño Part 10. Or is it 7? Or is it 8? I don't know what fucking part it is. It's a part, right? Um, and we definitely are going to get straight to it, man. I wanted to tell you guys a story. <laughs> Trip out on this, right? Not everything is everything it's cracked up to be, right? The inside controls the outside. And definitely, man... When you run into the opposition, the upstaters, you have to be on your toes. My cousin Ricky was on his toes. Uh, I was lacking a little bit, right? But I stepped it up and, and, and I got on my toenails fast. I had to, right? And it went down. So here's how the story goes, man. This is what happened. This is my primo Ricky, Super Norteño, Wapin. And me versus Winton and A-Town. Atwater, Bozo, where you were going to go, right? So trip out. So... My grandmother lived in Winton on a street called Hall Street, right? And Hall Street, she lived in a little casa, man. It was small. And I remember this was the last pad before the last pad she had before she passed away. And she lived all over Winton on Old Santa Fe and on California Street, I remember. But this was her last pad, you know, that she was ever going to live in. And it was small. I mean, it went this way, not that way. It looked smaller from the outside, but inside, with as much roaches as there were, there, there had to be plenty of room because they scurried everywhere. So we used to go over there. My primo used to pull up all the time because he'd go pick up his social security check, right? So I started to hang out there. That was my getaway spot. When I had a fight with my old lady, I was on the run or whatever. I just pulled up to my grandmother's house. I didn't even have to ask to stay. I just, vamanos, just fucking just tapped in, right? And just took, took over a room, took over one of my primo's rooms. And there was always a gang of primos there. My grandmother was one of them old school Mexicanas that she raised all her kids' kids. You know those ones. Hey, who raised you? You son of a bitches. Make something to eat. I'm too fucking old for this shit. My grandma had been cooking for years prior to this point. And my primos couldn't make shit but toast bread and fucking Captain Crunch cereal. But grandma always got down. She always came through. So that was the spot. So I used to pull up and I ain't even gonna lie. Between fucking, you know, I'd be arguing over a piece of toast bread with the roaches. That's how deep they were. Um, but again, we were, we were related. And I mean, these were generational roaches. They had followed us all the way from Livingston, Merced, Modesto, these motherfuckers were a mixture, right? There was Norteño roaches, Sureño roaches, upstaters. A little bit of, there was even some black roaches. Uh -huh. You'd walk in, they'd be like, brother, what you looking at? I, I, I don't want none of your cornbread, right? Everything was cool, but I remember this particular day, I had just hooked up with one of my baby's moms. I say one of them because I got four of them, right? But one of them, and she lived right next door. Well, there was like, so it was my grandma's pad. There was a fucking a house right here. I don't even know, to this day, I never seen anybody ever come out of the house. It was like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Nobody goes in and nobody comes out, right? But what came out next door to that house was a gang of females. And one of them I happened to knock, right? And I told the story. My primo, you know, I had went, I was on the run. I had caught a case, man. And, and I went to my grandmother's house, but I knew I was on the run and I was active as fuck. So I was at that, at that stage in my life where I was like, fuck it. Let me bick my head, Mongolian on bang, what it is, right? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to party. And I just was utilizing my grandmother's house, basically like a motel, somewhere to go, take a shower, get ready. Um, and that was that. Call the homies and bounce back into Merced and get to, get to the activity, right? I was in a gangbang. But my primo was on me. He was like, hey, fool, there's a fucking chick next door. Uh, you got to meet her. You got to meet her. And I was like, man, I ain't tripping off no bikes of chick next door, right? Shit. Let me tell you something. You know what I mean? 17 years later, we got a kid together, right? Um, anyways, I met her, so I would always be at her pad. I'd always be over there. I ain't gonna lie, man. I was cupcaking like a motherfucker. I was camping out. She had a, so her, her jefitas pad was in the front and her pad was like in the back. It was like a guest house. So she had a little bit of privacy, right? So I'd be back there tearing it up to that Mariah Carey soundtrack, right? I'd be in that motherfucker. We belong together. Just killing some shit. So anyways, this particular day, she had invited us to a carne asada. Now, for those of you that don't know what a carne asada is, it's like a barbecue for Mexicanos, for Mexicans, man. We go to the backyard. We get to hit piñatas. We get to eating bomb. 
Um, and this chick was straight paisa. She was from Apaxican, Michoacan, my baby's mom. Um, she's passed away recently, man. Rest in peace to her, you know, the love of my life. But she used to make a fucking taco like nobody's business. I remember a homeboy at work. I used to be like, hey, bro, come through to the pad. He'd be like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm tired from work. I'd be like, let's go to the pad, fool, and just chill out. Watch the game and shit. Drink a pistol. Like, nah, bro. I'd be like, hey, my old lady's cooking. He'd be like, all right, what time you want me to come? Right? Because she got down. She was good. So anyways, she invited us to a carne asada. Well, Ricky pulls up. Whooping! Right? And he had pulled up to pick up his social security check. And at that point in time, my grandma uh, usually would go help him cash it because my primo didn't know what the fuck to do when it came to money. She would cash it and she would get cashed out her little issue. And then she would give him his money and send him directly home because if my primo um, didn't go directly home, he wouldn't make it home with money. And my tia would flip out. You... Fuck face number one. You could hear her yelling all the way from Gustine, right? She'd be on it. How the fuck do you expect me to pay my rent? My shit is done. It's toast. It looks like Arby's roast beef. That I can't sleep with any more mint, right? So my tia, you know, she had her little side hustle. Her side hustle was paisas. Um, until Theo Angel came and I'll be doing a spill super paisa later on on Theo Angel. But um, my primo pulls up. And I remember he pulled up in a hoopty ass moped. <laughs> Looking like Jim Carrey, right? From the movie Dumb and Dumber. So this motherfucker pulls up. <laughs> I'm laughing at him. He got Sheila's big ass in the back. So the fucking moped's running like this. Right? She gets a, she's fucking chewing on a fucking hamburguesa on the back. And my fucking primo's popping a willy, right? Not by choice, but because he has to, right? He gets there, almost wrecks into my grandma's the tree in her front yard. And my other primos are Southsiders from fucking A-Town, right? They're right there in the front. They're looking at him. They're like, look at this bobbles, right? They're already clowning. They're like, uh-oh, a buster alert, buster alert. <laughs> you know what I mean? And my primo comes and he's fucking riding like this. He ain't even holding on to the handlebars. He's like, let's get it, right? I'm like, oh, fuck, man, who invited this cat? So my baby's mom, she's right there posted. Like I said, I was in between houses. I'd go to my grandma's house, chill out, take a shower, then go back to my old lady's house, bone the shit out of her, and I was back and forth, you know? It, it was a great time. It was a great time in my life. And so anyways, she invites me to a carne asada, and my two primos from A-Town are going to go. Well, one primo's from A-Town. The other one's from I don't know where the fuck he's from. He's a Southsider, but he just claims every city in between Atwater and Stockton, right? And then um, Ricky pulled up with Sheila. So, of course, they're going to go. So, Ricky sees me. What, primo? I'm like, he's like, I got backup. I got backup. I'm like, listen, bro. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to go to Flower's house, bro. My, my baby's mom's name was Flower, right? We're going to go to Flower's house. And then we're going to fucking jam to one of our primos. They're having a carne asada, bro. Don't be disrespecting no one because this is... This is my lady, huh? Because I'm serious about my lady, right? And my primo's like, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Let's go, right? So we pull up. And I already know it's all bad when we pull up, right? See, up until this point, I had met my old lady's, one of her primos. His name was Junior. Rest in peace, right? And let me tell you about Junior a little bit. This was the most craziest fucking Norteño I ever met in my life. This father was a psychopath. He was the American psycho. Right? He was off the chain. Born, raised, straight killer. There's no other way I could put it. Um, I remember this Vata got out of prison. I don't know how much time he did in prison, but according to the tattoos and the resume on his sleeves, that Vata was in for a long time. And this Vata got out straight, gang banged, activityed out to the fullest, right? And I remember he came to my lane. I was tripping because he was there when I got there. So what had happened was I had a homeboy pull up earlier that day. I went to Merced to go wiggle. I ain't going to lie. I was with a couple of tortas. And so I shouldn't be mad. But anyways, I slid back. And there's some fucking dude with a big old chongo, a long ass ponytail. Chilling right there in my old lady's pad, rolling a joint. I flipped out. But then he stood up. And then I flipped down, right? Because I realized uh, I had to make a life decision. Do I swing on this dude and get shot in the face? Or do I, uh, 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 you know, hold it down for my old lady? Then I started to think back on the tortas and I said, you know what? It's at this point in time, I'm just going to call a spade a spade and let it be even Steven. So anyways, she's like, hey, this is my primo, Junior, right? So I meet him. He was from Turlock. I remember from Turlock. It's right by Merced. And so I'm like, hey, what's up? Uh, saludos, mucho gusto. You know, what's up with you, bro? And he's like, yeah, I'm a Norteño. Whoop -de -whoop. You active? And I said, look, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I am. But what's happening with it, right? At that time, I was. And um, he's like, all right, that's what's up, bro. And he's like, hey, trip out up. Uh, yeah, I just got out of Pinta, the homeboy's this, the homeboy's that. So he's, you know, giving me the rundown on someone who's still fucking in the mix, but ain't really in the mix like that, like kind of like renegading, bro, lone wolf McQuading, just doing his own thing, right? 
And so anyways, I remember that day, that day he, and, and trip out on this. So let me give you some, a little bit more background. My baby's mom was a dispatcher for the Atwater Police Department at the time, right? And um, I didn't know that. When I started hitting that shit, you know, I seen a cop uniform and I thought she was just going to play dress up. You know what I mean? Um, and then I realized, fuck, she's a real one. Um, and then I was like, fuck the police coming straight from the underground. So everything was good. But her fucking uh, cousin didn't like that, right? So she was like, don't, don't, don't really tell him about my shit. So anyways, he gets to like, hey, man, I don't give a fuck. I ain't never going to go back to prison. I'm, all, I'm going all out. I'm going balls to the walls, homie. If shit happens, I said, no, no, I don't like balls and walls. I don't, balls and walls, like, it rhymes, but I don't like it, right? But he's like just gangster. So anyways, he ends up about a week later, just getting out after doing a long time. He ends up stealing my baby's mom's uh, bulletproof vest and, and her service pistol, right? Um, which I never even knew she had because I would have stole it, right? But um, he ends up stealing it and goes on a shootout with the cops. True story. And ends up, they end up smoking him, right? Um, I remember it was a big deal. But anyways... So that's the only primo I met. She used to talk about all these Norteños primos she had from Stockton and Sacra. So I always figured, okay, her family is Northern. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. She, it's perfect. Because by this time, after two weeks of just pounding, she was already pregnant. Straight up. I'm on stomach curves. I haven't had my period. Girl, you're pregnant than a motherfucker. I already know, right? So we just find out that she's pregnant. Her primo passes away. We go to the funeral. Fast forward to the day of the carne asada, right? Pulling up in A-Town, Atwater. Bozo, I pulled up, right? So pulling up, um, gang of Southsiders in the front. Now there's two brothers that are very well known out of Eight Town, right? They actually started it, Sal and Max Flores. And I remember, I think it was Max he used to have a fucking teal green '63 Impala with the Mexican flag in the back. I mean, just straight up, surreal, <laughs> right? He was just straight surreal. And so as we're pulling up. And my lady had a Ford F-150, a white one, clean, right? La Chacalosa, she used to call it. We're pulling up to this pad, and she tells me, hey, my primos might trip, but I'm going to talk to them. Hold up, man. What do you mean you're going to talk to them? You should have already talked to them. You don't talk to them after we get there. You know, and I'm flamed up to the fullest. <laughs> Behind us, mm -mm 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 -mm. here comes my primo. Whooping! He pulls up, right? And my other primos pull up. Um, the South Siders are with us in the in the in the Ford, right? Man, do you understand what happened as soon as I got off this car? Okay, let's just say I never got a taco, and I was highly upset about that. And my old lady got mad at me, almost left me over this shit. But as we as my cousin's parking his moped, he just throws it on the ground, and she just getting off, and she, her fucking radar is going dick 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 dick. She's, like, she's on chorra. Um, I quickly pull my primo to the side. We're standing behind the Ford, and I'm like, hey fool. That's Max and South Flores, bro. Like, I, I know him from back in the days. Because one of my primos is a founding member of A-Town too, right? He's not there at this party. But I'm like, hey, fool. That's, them fools are fucking with the business, bro. Like, it's going to be on right here. Especially me and my primo. We both had little Mongolians cracking off. And, and I mean, there's no denying it. We're both flamed up from head to toe, right? We're not going to fucking bow down like the West Side Connection. We're going to go in there and fucking eat a taco and drink a, a pisto, right? And But we're in a situation. There's nowhere to run now. Straight up. And I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you pulled up on your enemies and it's like, fuck, we're here now, eh? You got to do what you got to do, right? And I'm thinking, God, is this how it ends up? I'm going to get killed in a cornfield in Atwater, right? Because it was out in the outskirts of A-Town. So anyways, as we pull up, luckily, Sal was a righteous dude. Like, rest in peace to Sal Flores. He passed away recently, but he was righteous, right? Um, and he knew my primo. He was real good friends with my primo. Real good friends. So as we bend the corner, my other primo's already drinking a pistol. What's up, Sureños? Activate, right? They're over there kicking it. Fuck it, let's go. So me and fucking super fucking Northenio, we hit the corner. The bottles are on us. They're like, hey, see, what's up, homes? What's up? They're already taking a defensive stance. I'm like, oh, fuck. This is about to be on and cracking, like for reals, for reals, right? And Sal's like, hey, what's up, little Leonard? Right? And that's what, hey, look, that's what he used to call me. That's what a lot of my family used to call me. Uh, what's up, little Leonard? Right. And I'm like, what's up? What's up, bro? And he's like, damn, I ain't seen you since you were a little kid. What's up with you, bro? And I said, shit, just chilling, man. What's up? And he tells everyone, hey, calm down, bro. You know, this is snipers. Uh, it's snipers primos and shit. And they're like, all right, SC, all right. These Vatos fucking are like this. My primo's like that the whole time. Right. And he's like, hey, who's this Vato right here? Is this one of your homies? I said, nah, this is Ricky, fool. And he looks and he's like, damn, fool. I remember SC. I remember that motherfucker was in diapers. He had, cho there was chorro everywhere. I said, yeah, it's still, still the same way, bro. Still the same way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck it. 
So he's like, you want a beer? So they got like an ice chest and all the surrenders are in the front drinking, right? Well, there's a gang of cats from Winton. Well, about a month prior to this, I was walking to the store in Winton because my grandma lived in Winton, California, right? So as I'm walking to the store, there's some vod uh, vodka out there called, if you bust a right um, down Winton Way, you're going to hit, at the end, you're going to hit Winton Vario Parque. That's, that's their little park, right? There ain't shit there, but like a slide and, and Southsiders. And, and if you go left, then of course you keep going, you'll hit A-Town, right? Atwater. Um, but Winton's just a small town right over the railroad track. So anyways, as I was walking, these dudes from Winton, I got off. Me and my primo Ricky got off with these dudes, right? Boom, 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 boom. It was a good one. They took off running, bucking, pop, 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 pop. Whatever, right? Shit happens all the time. It was gangbanging. So these vatos hit the corner, like three of them, and I recognize them. This dude, one dude's shit still fucked up for where Ricky caught his ass, right? Hey, let me tell you about Super North Danny. He also has super strength, right? So as soon as my primo happened, he's like, whoop, whoop, in there. Right? And Valtos are like, and then, and I'm like, I knew it, right? So now Valtos are tripping. So Sal's like, hey, Holmes, uh, you know what I mean? You got Valtos can't come disrespecting like that. This is my, my primo's pad. And I'm thinking, my old lady, this is her primo's pad, right? This bitch never told me she was related to the florists, right? Mm. So let me tell you what happens, right? We're like, fuck this. We're going to go in the back and get us a taco, right? So as we're trying to squeeze by these Valtos from Winton, they're right there. They're talking shit. And my primo Ricky turns around. He's like, whooping. Right? And they're like, what's up, bestie? My primo says, Norte. That's what happened. Right? Boom, 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 boom. He's on him. Well, I blacked out for about a good three to four minutes because I've never been surrenuized the way I was this day. These vatos were kicking the dog shit out of us. My primos were hitting us. So I was like, what is it? Right? Boom, 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 boom. Hey, my Mongolian, half of it got ripped out. I'm holding on to fucking Ricky's Mongolian. Someone else holding on to mine. We're like the human centipede. I'm trying to pull him off the dude, right? Because Ricky's on him. He's trying to kill somebody. I bought this fucking fighting like that. What? Don't get fuck. Fuck. Right? And he's super duper, right? And I'm getting mine. Boom, boom, boom. But I'm blacking out because fools are hitting me, right? Well, Sal and Max, not Max Flores because I bought the super gangbang doubt, right? But Sal starts pulling fools off of us. And he's like, hey, don't just strike my primo's pad, right? I ain't even gonna lie. There was Theos beating up on us. I think even my baby's mom threw a kick. I don't know. All I know is we got fucked up, right? Um, we battled all of A-Town and half of Winton that day, right? And, and so this is what happened to trip out on this. So we ended up getting kicked out of there. My baby's mom fucking jams. We jam, right? And I'm all fucked up. She's like, you need to go to the hospital? I said, probably, but I'm too prideful to go, right? So I go back to my grandma's house. My grandma comes out. Make her what happened. And my tia happens to be over there too. She's like, my son, my son, son of a bitch, number two, motherfucker. Where'd you take my son? I said, no, I'm not the other. And my, hey, they broke my primo's moped. They literally, these surrenials fucking took it apart. My primo's are whooping in my moped, right? I said, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not active anymore. <laughs> you're, you're, they dropped your shit out. Your shit dropped out. Um, Sheila, we left her at the party. She's back there fucking doing the twist and shout, right? He's like, whooping to my old lady. I was like, uh, surrenials happened to your old lady. Whooping. <laughs> so we had to go back. Or my old lady went back and she picked up Sheila a couple hours later after Sheila was toe up. And, uh, and that was that. But so trip out about a week later, I go back to my grandma's pad, right? So my old lady was mad. She was like, you can, you disrespect my family. I'm like, why didn't you tell me you're related to Max and Sal? Like she goes, Hey, you didn't ever see him over here. I'd say, I see him cruise down the street and hit the U-turn at the dead end. But I never knew that the, it was your pad that they were going to. She goes, yeah, those are my primos. I was like, ah, oh, nah, hell no. Nah. I don't know about this anymore. This is getting a little too tricky for me. And she was like, well, I'm fucking pregnant. So what are you saying? I said, well, I'm saying, you know, can I get a mom one? Is what I'm saying, right? So anyways, I'm doing my thing with her. We make up, break up to make up, and that's all we do. Um, and it's about a week later. And I'm walking, and Ricky's not there. I'm walking down the street, and I see them dudes from Winton again. They cruise by me, right? Shout out to my homeboy, Green Eyes, man. He's a South Sider out of Merced. If he wasn't there, homie, oh, hell no. Nah. It would have been ugly, right? They cruise by, and they're mean mugging. And I hear them say, Estrella, as they're fucking, like, way past. And I... North and fool was happening, right? I'm looking around making sure there's no surveillance close. What's up, right? I'm gang bang down the middle of the street. <laughs> they hit the fucking thing. As they bend the fucking, they hit the U-turn and they bend the corner. I'm like, okay, fuck, they're going to kill me, right? Again, this is within two weeks. And that's how it was, you know, back when you're gang banging. Every time there was a situation, it was like, I'm going to die this time, right? As these motherfuckers bend the corner, bro, I'm right there chilling. And my boy Green Eyes pulls up. He's like, what's up, best sitting? Now, me and him had a long history. Sometimes we got along, sometimes we didn't. Luckily, this day we got along. 
And as these vatos pull up, they see green and they're like, what's up, verde? Right? And he's like, what's up, ese? And now they're, now they're having like a Sureño Morris code. They're like spe speaking in hieroglyphics, right? So they're talking to each other. And I'm just standing right there, the Norteño in the middle, like, fuck you, let my Mongolian flow. I took it out, so I puffed out, like, what's happening, right? I'm all looking psychopath. And Green's like, get in, fool. And I'm like, hey, are we good? He was like, yeah, we're good. So I get in with them, and then Sureño's are like, all right, that's it. And they pull past, right? Um, He's like, what happened, fool? I heard you guys got jumped on over there at fucking uh, Sal Max's uh, Primo's pad. I said, yeah, bro, fool's fucking crack. He says, I told you about fucking with the homies. I was like, damn, you motherfuckers are thick. I said, don't trip, fool. You know what I'm saying? We get ours too. And he's like, nah, 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 it's good. And he was hella respectful. He knew what it was. So he drops me off at my grandma's house. I didn't even make it to the store. And I wanted a fucking Slurpee, right? So I get back to my grandma's pad and I'm like, fuck these dudes. Watch this, right? So I call Ricky, call my, my homeboys. I'm like, fuck, are you ready? We go all the way out to Gustina, pick up Ricky. Now, Ricky usually wears red. Norte! Right? All the time. This motherfucker was red. He was full blacked out, zoned out. He's like, what happened? Right? I'm like, hey, shh. We're not going to bring Shiloh. Why not? Fuck Shiloh. We're going to go handle business. He's like, let's go. Let's just say this. We went back and cruised through Winton. Okay, we tow Winton's ass apart. Let's be honest here, right? Um, we beat him up from Rico's Pizza all the way back to fucking Center Street. <laughs> we got ours, right? Norteño's activated. But, you know, there was... <clears throat> I say that to say this. There was constant beef back and forth with the upstaters. And at that time, they didn't call themselves upstaters. They were just Southsiders, right? But there was constant beef. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a story tomorrow, a super Norteño story. My cousin Ricky almost didn't make it, okay? Um... And I ain't gonna lie, man. Fucking Pepe. I think Pepe was the cause of this one. This one's a more serious one. It's not gonna be as funny. Tune in if you want. If not, it's good. I hear you. But um, we're gonna get serio tomorrow. Anyways, with that being said, yeah, we got beat up by the South Stars. It happens. You know what I'm saying? But we double backed on them. What about that? With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive to struggle, the struggle to strive. I was asked yesterday to do a three-peat, man. Super Norteño, Super Wood, Super Paisa, your wish is granted. I got you today. Bang, bang.